Octagon News. I don't know what George St. Pierre is doing right now. Probably <laughs> psyching himself up in the mirror, looking at yeah. him. Yes, uh, you, you, you can do this, George. You can do this. <laughs> Did you see what his, uh, I guess, his mentor, I don't even know who this is. This is yeah, uh, Christophe Medu. Who, who is Cri- Christophe, so Christophe Medu? Christophe Medu is uh, like um, an MMA pioneer. He was one of the early, because obviously in France, um, MMA is banned. It's, it's not legal. Christophe Medu was one of the early pioneers, one of the first guys. And obviously, George being French, Canadian, uh, maybe he lives in Montreal now, I'm not sure. And they've been close. They've been, you know, very close for a long time. And he was his mentor. And, uh, yeah, it broke last week because Christophe, obviously being French, did a French podcast with Patrick Cote. And on that, uh, and I only know about this because of Ariel Helwani. Helwani spotted it. I saw that he asked him about it on the, M- you know, on the MMA hour. So I asked Helwani about it. And he wouldn't tell me, but I did some sniffing and I, I got some information from someone who speaks French. And basically he said that, when he looked at GSP, he didn't see what he wanted to see. He's not performing well. He looked slow. He doesn't under, He doesn't like the fight. doesn't like the fact he's at 185. And he said he's having no part of it. And he's left the camp and he's not going to be at the fight. He's not going to be in his corner. He's having zero part wow. in it. Wow. His eyes do not tell me anything good, he said in French. What's that in French, Harrington? Look that up. Uh, his eyes do not tell me busy, 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 uh, anything busy. good, you know? <laughs> But let me ask you a question because a lot of people are saying, speculating online. They go, "It's like, oh, dude, they're just trying to they're trying to send us like mixed signals to Bisping's camp. Bisping's not dumb; he's not going to fall for that." Do, do, uh, you... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that and I decided to take a week off. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, get me a bur- I, I want a beer and a cheeseburger because yeah." Uh, Christophe Madu says, "His eyes do not tell me what I want to." Know. I, I got to stop talking French like that. Um, no, no, listen, I'm expecting the best GSP ever. I really am. You, you know, are. That, that, that's, that's what you got to prepare no, for. Are, are You're preparing for the best GSP. Are you really, though? Because I'm not. As a fan, I'm not expecting really? the best GSP ever. Really? Because I keep ever. seeing that. Nope. I'm, see, this is why I think you're crazy, and that's why Christoph Madu, maybe he saw him at the start of camp or something like that, and he wasn't happy. But George is one of those guys. George is a consummate professional. He's a hard worker. He's very, he has a very cerebral approach to everything he does. So... He's been away for four years. Don't tell me that asshole hasn't been with sports psychologists. He hasn't been, you know, he's, he's done his diet, his nutrition, he's, he's built his body mass so he's stronger, he's suited to the weight class. He studied me like a bloody, uh, you know, he studied me very, very closely. So he's done everything he can and he's not going to come back and make an asshole of himself. He's, well, I'm going to make sure that he does, but he's going to make sure that he doesn't, you know. So he's, Who's, Whose side are you on? No, I know. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> You're uh, talking him up a little no, bit no, 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 but he's that type of guy though. He yeah. is the consummate professional and of he course. does what needs to be done. So I'm expecting a big, strong, fast, explosive George St. Pierre. Now, that said, in the promo things, I've got to say, he does look very cumbersome and doesn't seem... You know, there's the, when he's hitting the bags in that, that, that white room on that promo, mm. he looks kind of fucking... He looks terrible. He looks right. awful, and he looks a little fat and a little impregnated by aliens. But, but you don't um, have a Hall of Fame career that he's had, and, and now he's defended the belt, and he'll defend it again on November 4th without taking people seriously, no matter who it is. So of you course. Gotta, you, That's you, it. You prepare at your level. Uh, you, when you're a 10-year fighter at the level he's been at, you have to prepare yeah. at the level you prepare at, does, no matter who you're facing. Yeah. The, 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 reason, the, the reason I say that I don't... There's some, you've, you've talked about this in the past, and we've talked to other fighters about this. I think there's a difference between you know, training and, and learning and growing, and then there's a difference between competing at the highest level of fighting where the stakes are so fucking high. You know what I'm saying? So George being off for four years, I'm, I'm sure that he went out there and he's learned a lot, and I'm sure that he's been in, you know continuing to grow as a martial artist, but there's just something about the sport evolving and the guys that have been competing at the highest level, especially on a championship level, where I think that that is... There's just something about that that I think really means something. And George looked like he was fading in his last few fights. It wasn't the same dominant George St. Pierre that we had seen. A lot of people thought that he lost the Johnny Hendricks fight. Um, You know, the Nick Diaz fight was way closer than it should have been. Um, You know, George used to completely dominate dudes, and he started getting beat up by guys who... Yeah, but, you know, I mean, it's easy to say that, but he was, and this is part of the reason he stepped away. And again, I'm not defending him. You just got to see, you got to, you got to see both sides. You know the sport. Um... He was fighting at the highest level. He's fighting championship fight after championship fight and the pressure. And so you're fighting the best guy out there and, the, and you're fighting guys that that's their title shot. That's what they want. They've worked their entire life to get that. So you're fighting guys in the peak of their career each and every time. So he wanted, um, yeah, I'll do another Harrington please as well, if you don't mind. 
Um, you know, so you, you mentioned something uh, which a lot of people have mentioned about the sport moving on, but I don't see that. I mean, ultimately, a lot of things are still the same. You know, I mean, he's been training with John Danaha, but Danaha was in his corner the last few fights. Brady Fink tells me, my jiu-jitsu coach over there, he says that he's been in the corner the last few times. So I don't think we're going to see anything particularly new. I think we're going to see the, the same old George St. Pierre. I just think he's going to be a bit bigger and a bit stronger. But who knows? As Jason was saying, that might slow him down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that, um, yeah, there's uh, there's something about, sorry, Michael Bisming is opening his bags of potato chips and, and nuts. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> um, yeah, look, here's the thing, man. I, I, I think there's, when you when I say the sports evolve, I wish my, when Mike comes back, I, what I want him to do is I want him to look at four years ago. George. Where we were. And not just George. I'm talking about the sport in general. Like, who was the champions? What, what is, well, I'll tell you right now. 2013. I fought uh, Vitor Belfour. And then I fought Alan Belcher. And then that was when I detached my retina. And then, I, you know, 2013, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so. I, I, I think that, I, but I do think that in the past, I think that in the not past, not a lot's changed. What's changed? People keep saying that. How can the sport have changed? Listen, it, it's changed in terms of public perception. It's changed in terms of money. It's changed in terms of Reebok deals and stuff like that. Yeah, but, but, the, but the flip but, side, but the, I think, the, think is because the, the same the nuts and bolts are fighting. What about like it's still <laughs> the same? Yeah, but they, you know they, what I mean. They, there they, might they, there might be a few extra little newfangled techniques or whatever, or people might train a little different, or maybe people. You don't saying, think the guys today, even like you, Michael Bisping today, could you beat up Michael? Bisping 2013, or would it be a close? I'd fight? say I mean, so. I yeah. mean, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I've definitely developed and got better. Yeah, uh, wouldn't be a walk in the park, but I, I'd say so for sure. That's why I'm the champion now. But um, that's what the critics are saying is because he's been out for so long, and, he, and you've continuously not only trained but have taken fights. Mm -hmm. You're constantly evolving as an athlete, as a fighter. Whereas, call it mm -hmm. ring rust, call it what you want. That's what the critics are saying is because he's been out for so long, coming well, up a weight class hey, against a. a, a hey, I hope so. Tenured fighter like yourself, I hope that's so. The risk I, I hope so. But, 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 Is that but what you're saying, but right, I, right? I, as a fighter, you can't think like that. You can't, you know, you can't think. Oh, yeah, he's had four years away. I'm, I'm thinking the opposite. I'm thinking he's extra motivated and then gone to extra lengths because of that. And George is that type of person, and and believe it, he's he's very very confident. You know, when we've sat in those press conferences, pardon me, the press conferences, I can see a confident man. For sure, and he does. He believes it. We wrestled a long time ago. I spoke about this, and and he, and he dominated me there. So he thinks he's still going to do the same. Yeah. But uh, people are sick of us talking about GSP every week. It is the big fight. I'm 200 pounds right now. I've got 15 pounds to lose. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, talk to me because I want to talk about last night's fights. But real quick, you you had a thing with Cody Garbrandt this week. Not really. I like Cody Garbrandt. Cody's, Cody's... He does not like you, apparently. Really? <laughs> Why was he been saying? Well, did you... I mean, you guys got into a little tour. He tweeted about you. What'd he say? What, do you, are you really ignorant to all of this right now? I don't fucking... <laughs> Cody Garbrandt. Cody Garbrandt tweeted out, uh, let's be honest here, Bisping, your fight is a gimme fight, and the only hype around it is that George that is George's comeback. And then he tweeted out, no disrespect to Rose or Joanna. I think they're great fighters, but the, we know who the real main event is November 4th. Yeah, well, that's all well and good because he's hyping his fight. But like I said the other day, yeah. when I got asked about it at the UFC media day, I'm like, I've never paid to watch two men fight over the size of my fucking legs, right? My son, Callum, could beat the piss out of Co <laughs> Cody and TJ put together. And I will backhand Callum in my fucking sleep, okay? If that shit ever steps out of line, Callum knows where it's at. And if Cody wants to step up, I'll send Callum round and uh, he can sort him out and I said Cody needs to stop plucking his fucking eyebrows and spend more time in the real world because whatever you think you're not the main event you little shit alright good for you right go and try and knock someone out and, uh, and, and I hope it's good but if you check the papers you're the Cole main event motherfucker that's fucking funny. Like, I'm you fucking, I'll backhand my son in, his, in my sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Callum's a good wrestler and all that, but it, it'll, it'll take fucking them two. Yeah. That's pip squeaks weird. down. Pip squeaks. Unfortunately, you pip squeaks. That's why you call there it is. event. There's those eyebrows. <laughs> Come on, man. He plucks those bad boys. And what are we saying about the mascara? Yeah. You well, think there's mascara on there? Possibly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I think what it was, I think he those was reacting. Eyebrows. Where's that come from? 
I don't know. Somebody put that out there. Oh, what is really? That? They could have picked a better picture of me, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 